Hello chess friends, I am Stockfish and today I played a beautiful chess game with Alpha Zero. we both have 1 minute's clock time, let's go, I started with e4, e5, knight comes to f6, I play fascinating move, f4, do you know the plan? If pawn takes, let me show it, then e5, targeting the knight, where the knight will go, every square is covered by somebody, you have to play knight g8, black wants to play queen h4 check, just play natural moves like knight here, d4, targeting the pawn, bishop here, queen here to target the f pawn potentially, rook will get f file in the future. So, back to the position, alpha played standard move d5, creating pressure on this pawn, ok, we have f takes e5, knight takes pawn, queen goes to f3, creating pressure on this knight, so, knight takes c3, pawn takes c3, bishop goes to e6, you know what, because of this pawn, black will face center problems, let me show how, queen slides on g3, pressuring on this pawn, so the bishop have to protect it, alpha building his king indian set up g6, knight here, bishop g7, bishop goes to g5, because of e5 pawn you shouldn't play f6, because you will face sown white square weakness, and your king position will be cramped. So, Alpha slides his queen, we have h4, knight developed, bishop on d3, we have h6, bishop back to e3, c5 by black, I played hot move bishop takes pawn, if you take the free bishop, then queen takes g6 will be devastating for you, and your king still middle of the board, so, back to the position, we have queen up to c6, preparing for long castle, bishop to d3, castle, long castle, both side castled long, very good, rook here, king slides, do you really think taking the pawn with bishop is a good idea? Let me show it, if bishop takes pawn, targeting the queen, bishop is supported by knight, ok, knight takes bishop, threatening this, rook takes knight takes, rook takes bishop, knight takes rook, king takes, and believe me or not white have plus 4.86 advantages because he have rook for knight, so, in this position, we have queen c7, queen backs, king slides, bishop here, a6, h5, king here, queen on f2, my strategy is to play queen d2, g4, g5, takes, takes, try to make a passed pawn, and you might think the g4 square is targeted by the bishop, if bishop takes happen, then push the pawn, threatening the knight and the queen, the bishop is protected by the queen, it is the further plan, but alpha sees it, so, he played knight b6, queen here, queen up, he wants queen a4, d4, try to attack the a2 pawn potentially, so, I played b3, bishop attacks, bishop protects knight, bishop here, rook here, rook f8, g4, takes, knight goes to d4, sacrifice a knight for a bishop, he accepted it, bishop takes queen takes, takes, queen takes, rook takes, a5. Ok, targeting the f pawn, these squares are protected by the bishop, so, bishop here, to target it, bishop takes, rook takes, rook here, king on b2, f6, bishop f2, rook here, bishop here, bishop backs, rook goes to g6. Targeting both of these and this pawn can be targeted by the rooks, knight here to target the rook, rook here, rook f8, king c6, king c5, king d5, king here, rook takes, h6, rook goes to h8, knight here, bishop takes knight, rook takes rook, takes takes takes. And after some moves later, we got three connected past pawns, king here, pawn check, rook on check, queen promoted. If you liked the video, then subscribe for more. Bye bye.